When you're sending a Pro Tools project to somebody else, you might not always be sure if all your audio files have been imported correctly, and they could open the project and not see the correct audio files. So we use the archiving feature in Pro Tools. We go to File, Save Copy In. We make sure that the audio files box is ticked, and just double check that your sample rate and bit depth match your session. I press OK, and I'm going to choose where to save it, and I'm going to call it My Archived Session. I press save and it'll start copying all the files across into the new archive. Once that's done, I can close my session by going to File, Close Session. It may ask you to save. Then I open up the archived session and I'll note that all my audio files are in there. Then we need to clean out the unused clips. So we go to the, the clips list. If you can't see it, just open it with the little arrow down the bottom. Go to the drop down menu at the top and say Select Unused. That selects all the unused clips and I go to clear. And then I can say move to trash or delete to permanently delete them from the drive. Remember, these are the archived versions of the file, so we're not deleting the originals. I'm gonna press move to trash so that they're sitting in my trash folder just in case we do something wrong. Now my project is a lot more lightweight. There's fewer files to manage. I can save the session, close Pro Tools, and then I'll want to send them the entire folder Here's my project folder here. Right click on it, compress, and once that's zipped, we can send them in the entire zip archive. We do this to make sure that all the files are included and that there's no problems. In fact, it's best to open up the zip again and double check that your file opens correctly to make sure nothing is corrupt.